this teen drama will always have a special place in our hearts. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 memorable Beverly Hills 90210 moments. Scott. Scott. Scott! Put that! Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most memorable, poignant, and or best scenes from this TV series that we won't soon be forgetting. I'm not giving up. But if this is it, I'm glad I'm not going through this alone. Me too. Number 10. The Pilot To start this list, let's go back to where it all started, the very first episode. First day of school. Oh, strange city, no house, no friends. I'm psyched. Twins Brandon and Brenda Walsh have just moved from the wholesome Midwest to a flashy new area code and have to adjust to their surroundings. Nobody knows me here. I could be anybody. I could be somebody. It's fun to go back and watch this episode because so many things we've come to know and love, like the Walsh house, are actually totally different in the pilot. Not to mention, Luke Perry isn't even in it yet. Are you smart? Sort of. Great. This class is a real bitch. I need all the help I can get. There's a sweet simplicity to this beginning, and it makes us feel nostalgic to see all the characters at their youngest and most innocent. Watcast number one! Number nine. Kelly and Brandon finally get together. What would Frank Capra do right now? Well, I think Frank would have the guy lean in and kiss the girl, and the camera would pull back and the music would rise. From the very beginning, Kelly is interested in new kid on the block, Brandon. This leads her to pursue Brandon on and off for several seasons, but it's only in the two-part finale of season four that the pair hooks up. Kelly dates Dylan for much of the season, but her flirtation with Brandon progresses further and further at the same time. Dylan and I split up, and I didn't even let the dust settle before I got on a plane to come here and see you. Well, I'm glad you're here. After the two share a romantic day in Washington, they end up in bed together, which fans had wanted to see for ages. I like being in your world, Brandon. I want to stay in it. Well, you're welcome to stay as long as you want. Thank you. Number eight, Dylan gets married. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Okay, we've got to admit it. Like most shows, the early seasons of Beverly Hills 90210 are probably the best, but there are still some great moments even past the halfway mark of its run. One notable example is Dylan's wedding in season six. And no, if you stopped watching before this point, he doesn't marry Brenda or Kelly. All my life, people have told me I was running away from something. I always felt I was running to something. I just didn't know what that was until now. I love you. I always will. His moment of happiness is quickly cut short, however, when his new bride is murdered in the very same episode. Oh, baby! Oh, my God! Oh, fuck what they did to our friend! Oh, oh. It's a devastating moment, and marks Luke Perry's last episode on the show for several seasons. Number seven, Brenda and Kelly wear the same prom dress. It's safe to say that Brenda and Kelly have a contentious relationship throughout the show's run, and this moment from the first season is one of the earlier examples of them butting heads. You can have it, if you want. No, you can have it. I wouldn't wear it. When it comes time for the big spring dance, both girls end up wearing the exact same dress, which is pretty much everyone's worst fashion nightmare. Uh, Kelly, you're wearing... What? What is it? Well, it's such a beautiful dress. I mean, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Brenda, how could you? And not only that, it's also a pretty distinctive dress that doesn't exactly blend into the crowd. You called it cheap and tacky. You said you weren't gonna buy it. Well, I changed my mind. Well, you'll just have to go change. No, you're gonna have to go change. Brenda, I am a spring princess. Kelly, I don't give a damn. <sighs> this moment is always in the back of our minds when we ask our besties what they're wearing for a big night out. All right, I'll wait till you see this picture. You look just like the Bobsy twins. Excuse me. 
Number six, Dylan smashes a flower pot. Yeah, well, that's not all I need. <laughs> Bye. Resident 90210 bad boy Dylan is introduced in season one and stole all of our hearts with his moody demeanor and, of course, his smoldering good looks. When he and Brenda first get together midway through the first season, he shows some early warning signs right off the bat when he dramatically smashes a flower pot in front of her because he's pissed at his dad. Just come on, damn it! Stop yelling at me! While she probably should have known to run in the opposite direction, he managed to convince her to stay. And honestly, we were all sold just as much as she was. Number five, Donna Martin graduates. If you ask people to name one iconic line from this show, it'd very likely be the protest chant, Donna Martin graduates. Donna Martin graduates, Donna Martin graduates. <laughs> After she gets caught drinking at the prom, Donna is suspended from school, and it looks like she won't be able to attend graduation. That's just not fair. I just want to get my diploma with you guys. We're with you, Donna. Just hold it together, okay? All of her classmates band together to protest the decision, standing up to the school board to defend their friend. Tell Superintendent Epphart that uh, summer school registration is going to break the record this year. Donna Martin graduates. Donna Martin graduates. Donna Martin graduates. Of course, in the season finale, the entire gang does graduate, and it's another memorable episode that marked the change to a new era on the series. Number four, who will Kelly pick? Beverly Hills 90210 was known for its love triangles, and in season five, the most notable was the one between Kelly, Brandon, and Dylan. By the end of the season, it comes time for Kelly to pick between her two suitors when Dylan invites her to come along on a trip around the world and Brandon proposes to her. It's beautiful. There's no trip around the world, but I think we could take quite a journey together. In a shocking move that was surprisingly forward-thinking for the time, Kelly memorably chooses neither, proclaiming, I've made my choice and I choose me. I hope you understand. I love you both till the day I die. It was a pretty cool and inspiring feminist moment that we won't soon forget anytime soon. Number three, Brenda and Dylan's breakup. Brenda's wrong. Everything. It's not the end of the world. Your parents will get over it. Yeah, maybe. At the beginning of season two, it seems like Brenda and Dylan are primed to be the primary couple of the series. But after Brenda has a pregnancy scare, everything goes south. She's so stressed out by the concept of dealing with a pregnancy that it makes her question her entire relationship with Dylan and whether she's jumped into things too quickly. I had to tell you guys, I love Dylan and I thought I knew what I was doing. But I'm beginning to get the feeling that it wasn't worth it. Their breakup scene in the car to R.E.M.'s Losing My Religion is an iconic TV moment. And even though we know they'll end up on and off again, it's still a devastating one. And I do know what I'm feeling. And I need to break up with you. <gasps> Number two, Brenda and Dylan make love. Brenda, this is your night. Actually, it's our night. This was a show that tackled teenage sex head-on at a time when that wasn't exactly the norm on TV. In the first season, Brenda grapples with the idea of losing her virginity to her boyfriend Dylan, and they finally do it the night of the spring dance in a hotel room. How many girls get to have sex for the first time with someone they love? I don't know. I've never really taken an opinion poll. Mm -hmm. Unlike many TV portrayals of teens having sex for the first time, this didn't have any immediate negative consequences and was simply two people in love making an informed decision together. Brenda, you're glowing. Yeah, well, you have a goofy grin all over your face and you better wipe it off, otherwise people will talk. So let them. It cemented this iconic relationship and was a great example of how progressive TV can be. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. My name is Rick. Je m'appelle Brenda. Bre Brenda? Is that a French name? Ah, uh, mais oui. 
Of course, it is more common in the west part of France. What does it do? Everything. Do a hit right now, you study, you go through your work like a chainsaw through butter. And you do a little bit right before your 2 a.m. shift, you'll be in cruise control till morning. I look at you, and I see my best friend, your energy, and your passion inspire me in ways I never thought possible. Number one, I chose you. Brenda finds out about Dylan's affair. While Brenda and Dylan were initially the central couple of the show, that eventually shifted to become Dylan and Kelly, to the surprise of viewers. Look, it was you two who gave me that dumb ultimatum. You said choose. I chose. I chose you. The two had an affair while Brenda was away in Paris, and it all culminates with Dylan choosing Kelly and the pair confessing to Brenda. Look, I told you it was the girl, right? Kelly was the girl. I thought you guys were my friends. The Walsh twin is understandably furious and says she never wants to speak to either of them again. You made it seem so innocent, like it was my fault. Neither of us wanted to hurt you. You didn't care about how I felt at all, Kelly. That's not true. It is a crushing and dramatic moment, which is emblematic of the show as a whole. And it's the one we always think of when we look back on this great 90s hit. Look, I hate you both. Never talk to me again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.